About three weeks in, uh, what are your thoughts on camp so far? It's good. It's good. It's obviously kind of a day-to-day -day thing right now. It kind of are focused on, on what's happened most recently. Um, it's hard to see it in total right now. But in the day-to-day, -day, they're doing better, trying to get better every day. Uh, like the progress of the quarterbacks, offensively progressing as a unit. Kind of a lot of new faces, so getting used to each other. Cool, but uh, fun group to work with. Colin and, and Dante are the two newbies. Uh, you know, how, how, how have you seen their progression? Uh, it's big. I mean, it, it, this is totally different for both of them in totally different ways. So uh, you see it more so with them. They grew, they, you know, have bigger leaps and bounds and setbacks and gains. It's, you know, it's a little bit of a roller coaster because it is so new. But they're both super talented, different, but really fun to work with, um, eager, coachable, get really awesome kids. There's all that learning you're talking about, but there's it's also competitive, right? So, yes. so at this early juncture, is that sort of in the back of your mind where these guys, of course, are sort of ranking and how that changes, or is it are you most focused on just each guy improve as much as possible right now and let that sort it out late? It's the second. Uh, I I just don't think anybody is good enough for or you know playing consistently well enough on a day-to-day -day basis to where you can worry about competing Vince and the else. They've all got individual stuff to worry about. Um, we'll cross that road when we get to it um, because it's not, like I said earlier, like the day-to-day, -day, I don't, it's really not a competition in that sense. It's just building them all up to where, in you know, the highest point we could get them and then we'll see how it sorts out. How do they all get along? They're awesome. Like the room is so enjoyable just to sit in there and, and you got someone like Chase Griffin who's been here for so long. He's, you guys all know it. He's an unbelievable person. Um, he kind of is a really uniting force. He's awesome to have in the room. So it's been really fun with them. Does Ethan wear a GoPro every practice? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of our, our virtual reality system. So we film the reps that he takes. It's not neat to like, he's number one it's just he gets a lot of reps and we just keep it on his helmet so we're not changing it out but those reps go into a computer system we have that they put on an oculus and they could watch those reps in coaching you would you always say like hey why didn't you throw this and i'm watching it from 50 feet back the whole field 50 feet high or the end zone that's not the view that they see it from they see it from right here so that's a 360 GoPro that can see everything, not necessarily just where he's looking. It's a really, really good teaching tool to say, well, why did you see this? Well, coach, that's why I didn't see it. I can't. Yeah. Um, so that we work through that. We coach off of that just as much as we coach off of the other stuff. Is that something you do this year? Uh, we started doing that um, maybe last fall. I'm trying to remember, but Dorian had it on his own. That's back. Let's for a uh, call in the end. Is we seeing as big alarm. Uh, yeah. What are some of the things if you talk about, you know, some of the ups and downs, trying to pick things up? What are some of the things that you uh, are constantly working with uh, and trying to, uh, you know, kind of just skew it out on it? Yeah. Colin and I share some, some commonalities. Like he played the OC at Kent State, it was a guy named Andrew Souter, who I worked with for a year at San Jose State running the system that they ran at Kent State. So there's some, hey, Colin, this is like this, or uh, we can kind of work through that a little bit. It's very different. There are some similar things, but it's different. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that might be new to him that can kind of work through. Like you said, big live arm, it's as strong as I've seen. Um, and then a, a really, really impressive athlete too. <laughs> But he's just getting used to something that's totally different where he's played college football, which is really good. He's been understanding the speed but against Georgia last year, Washington, um, Oklahoma. Like he's seen some, some monsters, but just getting used to the new. Uh, but it, it's, he makes those same strides. There was some uh, just like chippiness at the end of practice today. Obviously not with your quarterbacks or anything, but it, is that, do you like to see that kind of emotion? Um, you like to see people playing with emotion but not being emotional uh, competing is great that takes some emotion to compete but it doesn't uh you don't want it there's a learn and uh 
sometimes it can be gray, but once it's crossed, it is certainly not gray. So we got to focus on competing and then leaving it there. My guys aren't really involved. Yeah, I know. It was the uh, NFL draft. Uh, yeah, you got to have some interest from you know, DTR. Yeah, what are your what are your thoughts on it? I'm hoping for the he goes to the best situation possible. I uh, think we've kind of here prepared him and given him everything we can to get him to the best place he you know so hopefully he can hit the ground running if we can go in there and learn and and really soak him more um but i'm excited for him you know whatever whenever it is i will hope it's the best situation possible but with the uh, offensive wide line versus you know kind of affecting things a little bit how do you you know assess the quarterback of course how they handle pressure and you know some of those less than ideal uh circumstances Oh, get it out of your hand. Don't hold on to it. Feel pressure, move in the pocket, climb. Been on. They've got to work on fighting. That it's quarterbacks. Sometimes you go, well, there was pressure on that play. Well, no, a quarterback created pressure. He drifted right into a problem. Um, so we we look at that stuff a lot. Uh, and we get it out of their hand. Uh, play with speed. Say so play slow pre-snaps. You can play fast post-snap. Get as much information so you can get the ball to your hand after the sap and and, and play fast and be available and not be on the back. Some of the shotgun snaps on uh, uh, different days have been a little spotty. Is is that something that uh, that the, the quarterbacks you know talk about a little bit or? No, I, I trust me. I've I've been places where the shotgun snaps are bad. These are I think it's been pretty good for. Um, dude, we've got some consistency at center with Duke and with that. Uh, it's me and her been doing a nice job. Like, trust me, I've seen it where it's flying all over the place. You never know. So at least we're in this range. That's good. But it's not very set on talk about. Dave, as far as a Dante goes, where are some things that have with the jump out at you or you know, a guy that yell? Uh, I, I would say on the field, Dante has a as quick a release and he's as accurate as you'll see. So. It's that age old, I have a huge arm and I can hold on to it a little longer, or I have a quick release and I'm really accurate. He is quick and accurate, it's really impressive. Uh, off the field, he's always up there. He is always in that building. Um, smile on his face, fun to be around. He's sad. Uh, he's, he's, he's been a joy so far. Uh, he's a football junkie and he likes being around the team. And so if he's that, uh, you guys will get to know him. He's, he's great down that. I know you said Ethan gets a lot of reps is where they go through. What does he kind of bring, like, presence-wise, that we have, like, maturity about it? Yeah, he does. He's, Ethan is, um, he's been here. He's mature. He's, he's older now. Uh, he knows, he knows kind of the why, why we're doing all we're doing. Um, it's not always the what or the how. It's, there's a little deeper understanding, uh, but he's, he's, you know, working to find a real consistency out there that we, that's what we need him to be is really steady. And he's, we know exactly what he's going to do with the ball when it's his turn. So he's, he's been good. He's getting a ton of hutch. As far as the just to work, seeing, you know, the first week we saw quite a bit of them in those 11 on 11, uh, you know, appears at the end, um, a little bit less, you know, this past week. Uh, is there something in, in the ladder the bank just have to help they was you know kind of played out yeah it's just kind of how he did a nice job today we've got him in there and uh, we're kind of rolling the eyes seeing what they could do but that i think whenever you guys see out here like there's there's give and take and the different reps in different days but he does a nice job um justin's arm and athleticism are high level uh we're kind of trying to get him to go a little more, run a little bit, um, kind of be a little bit of more of a threat to the defense, but he's he's doing a nice job. He's got a long run. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you.